interesting. And that's how you get the pedal peeps. Alright, let me put this back down here. Alright, Billy, well we got uh, we got some work to do. Yeah. Alright? We can only fight the bots, firstly, because we've destroyed the, the bugs and the illuminate. Proving grounds. Oh, I guess you could do like a train training mission or something. Mm. Oh, that's kind of cool. Welcome back to this game. It's been many years. Many, many years. <laughs> um, to the point where, like, everybody's beaten this game several times over. We got two thousand people here playing the game right now. And most of those are probably because, well, you know. Yeah. So we've gotten to the point. We, we're both level ones. We're playing on my PC. Uh, so we have a couple of these we can't, um, we actually don't have, can unlock certain things if we do these easy missions. We can get a strafing So we get a strafing run or anti-personnel anti mines. Like, Which are just going to kill us. I mean, but they're good. Yeah, they are. I would go for this one first, maybe. Unless yeah. you want to do the dive in the park one just to get it out of the way. Yeah, we might as well get them. Let's get out of Coochie. Coochie goo. I mean, there's only one. Yeah. Objective for both, and they're both the same. Activate the same set. I just want to drive the motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, I like still uh, stuff like this, like the, uh, the the barbed wire. Oh, dude, there's a tank. That's pretty dope. The Toxic Avenger. The Mauve Avenger. No, the Mauve Storm. Oh yeah, that's right. A mortar. I got a mortar. Look at this. I hope they bring some of this shit into the new <laughs> the new game. Me too. This is, this is fucking cool. That's the thing. Like, I don't know that people really realize like how. Uh, um. Oh, that's kind of cool too. They give you the option to do a random loadout, and you get an XP bonus. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty cool. They should do that in other yeah. games too. Yeah, that'd be cool. We don't really have to overthink this. This is like the easiest mission we can do. Yeah, it's so, more of like... <laughs> just to have fun. We're going to speed run this. What we're going to do, Billy, is we're going to do the objective, and then we're, I'm going to call on the motorcycle, and we're going to cruise <laughs> straight to the fucking end. It sounds the like fun to me. Zone. Gucci. Enemy patrol. So Billy wanted to play this game, I guess, just for nostalgia's sake. Yeah. <laughs> to see... Because, you know, it's been a long time... It's been many years since we've last played it together. And we've since played uh, the new one a lot. Hell Divers 2, a lot. Oh, the bug. Yeah, they have dogs that come in. They suck because they knock you down. That's it. They're spawning in a lot for it being a fucking easy mission. Whoops. Okay, no. Sorry. It was quit our game. Oh, the... Alright, so the share button for you is the map. Or the left side of the touchpad. Left side of the touchpad? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so our is thing it? is right up here. <clears throat> so these were the cyborgs. They weren't automatons yet so i guess in the lore they're like kind of human yeah like human defectors or something basically they're people that wanted to uh not be part of super yeah and also have uh the ability to you know like trains transmute themselves all right we did it all right i'm calling in our <laughs> calling in our uh Motorcycle. Reload, reload. In fact, you know what we should do? Hey, you know what? Actually, it doesn't matter. Fuck it. Do you want to drive or do you want a turret? Uh, let me get my, let me get my thing first. Right, no, I'm, dri I'm driving now. Fuck it. Yeah. Buh, 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 buh. <laughs> there is a turret. Go, go, go! Can you pull up your map? Yeah, let's do the map. Sorry, hold on. You can do the map or you could shoot. Uh, if I can figure out how to shoot. You, yeah, you should just. It should be. Oh, maybe you can't shoot on this one. Yeah, nothing. I don't think I. I don't think I have the one with the gun yet. Oh, okay. So hold on, hold on. You're gonna be on on uh, uh, sample duty. Get that sample. <laughs> Give me that sample. 
I don't think we used this in the original, like the first time we were, like the times that we recorded. No, we didn't, because I don't think the Luminate were out even when we were recording. No, the Illuminate shipped in this game. Did they? Yeah, they shipped. The only stuff that they added was like more stratagems, more weapons, and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, no, the Illuminate, uh, they they shipped. All right, we're almost there. Yeah. I just figure we use the the bike just to get around faster. This is one thing that like I do feel like would be a better um, thing than what I have right now with uh, what the uh, mouse and keyboard. Yeah, mouse and keyboard is that W A S and D are the uh, the strategy things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you can't awesome. run and oh my! I got killed by my own, my own thing. So I forgot that I placed it there. That's my turret. Or did you place one too? Uh, no, I had a, a thing. Oh, uh, thing coming down. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't see. <laughs> Boom. Stand by. Equipment on its way. It's all right, baby. It's coming. We're gonna get it. I'm I've like accepted that I'm just not gonna ever probably be a mouse and keyboard player. I mean, most I've, games are now where you can just kind of. Yeah, I've done it before, but I'm just I know I don't enjoy it, and I'm not as adept. So I think I've just accepted that I'm never gonna like be good with a mouse and keyboard. I prefer the analog control of the stick too. Like the thing that I don't like with like mouse and keyboard, like if you're trying to walk in a game. If there's like two keys you have to like press and hold in order to walk. Yeah. So <clears throat> it becomes natural after you've done it so long. Oh, I'm sure, but I I'm just a fan of the analog control. I think so. Oh, I forgot that we uh, we go in from the front. Yeah. It's been so long. That was actually like more. We're going on for a, a level one mission. Yeah, for thought. trivial. Yeah. Literally, in Helldivers 2, when I, I, I did a trivial mission just to... Because I needed one more sample to get a Some upgrade. Grades, bitch. So I'm like, all right, I just need one sample. Yeah. And I went... And I started... Uh, I started the, the game, and I'm like... Don't fuck you. No, I'm running around and... I've been running around for like five minutes and not a single bug was anywhere. Oh, really? I was just hitting up all the little <laughs> yeah. special objectives and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was like no bugs at all. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> <clears throat> then I finally go and do the uh, do the actual thing. And then they finally bug breach because I'm doing the, you know, uh, right. raise the flag. Right, right, right. Really tedious <laughs> game yeah. thingy, but... I wish they had that that objective on the higher difficulties just for the hell of it. Yeah, but <laughs> let's do the Toxic Avenger. I, it's probably not going to do shit against the bots, but I don't fucking. You know what? Actually, hold on. We'll do the commando. We'll do the commando. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny how uh, I don't know. The game is so hit or miss with that sometimes too, because like I said, I was playing a level seven, which I feel like is like at least some of the matches I've played in level seven. Some are like, doable and some are not. Well, I feel like that's like where the game <clears throat> is kind of meant to be difficulty-wise. Yeah. At least in my opinion. I think six. Like, yeah, if, yeah, maybe. Um, six to seven, I think for me, is kind of where like the sweet spot is. But like, on even uh, like on some of them on, on level seven, like are fucking ridiculous. Yeah. I'm all for the game being balls hard on like the higher difficulties, but like, I don't know, like I feel like the developers like... Uh, they tried a little too hard. Well, they tried to, like... Well, they like they have this vision for, like, how difficult the games should be. So, like, that's why they nerf shit and, like, whatever. And it's like, if you just make, like, three more levels of difficulty above nine. Just do that. Yeah. <laughs> Where you just crank shit like crazy. Whoops. You know? Oh, we gotta go... Sorry. I, I keep getting the buttons mixed up. We gotta go southwest. Yeah. It's right here. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's what they ought to do. Is just like if you want to go fucking nuts, then have it have like get three higher difficulty settings. 
Like, you don't need to nerf all this shit just to, like, maintain, like, a balance. Like, especially for a fucking PvE game. Like, yeah. But, also, if you don't have a, it hard enough for... Yeah, like, they gotta make lower. it challenging. But, you know, I don't know. No, I get what you're saying, too. That is one thing I forgot about, that you can actually pick people up in this. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's very different, because it's like, you know... Um, we're confined to a screen and whatever, and... That's why I like, uh... Alright, let's see. You know what we ought to do, as I say with this, is... The, uh... Oh, there's a sample there. There, I have the UAV that shows you where the samples are. Oh, yeah. We should just do this where, like... You yeah, just collect shit ton yeah, samples. Just get in this and just get the samples. On the lower level missions, they're not going to give that many. But. No. They're only going to give us common samples. Well, they only have regular common samples. samples. They only have common samples in this game. I'm excited for, like, when they get this type of shit into the <laughs> Helldivers 2. <laughs> Me too. I've seen, you know, certain... Yeah, they have them. I think the devs are probably testing some shit. Yeah. Because I know they, uh... I've seen a three-person, like, bike. Yeah. Oh, a three-person one, really? Yep. Cool. It's, uh... It's basically this thing, except it's two people in the front, two. one person on a turret in the back. Oh. They should do something like, um... In Gears 5, they had, uh, like this kind of, like... It doesn't really make any sense... But it just looks cool. It's like this skiff with like um, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but like a chute out in front of it, and like it like catches the wind, and then that's how you like traverse around the the world. Because for some reason, all those like action games from like the two thousands when they made they the new editions, they had to have an open world section of the game. Yeah, so and <laughs> a lot of games put a grappling hook in. Yeah. So, like, that's what they did, is they have this, like, little skiff thing that you ride around on. And it's pretty cool. Like, it is pretty sweet. But, like, you know, it's a cool weapon, or, like, a cool, like, vehicle. Not that I don't, I don't even know that it would really fit thematically within Helldivers, necessarily, but... Watch out, my turret's fucking turn in. <laughs> I bet it's funny, too, though, because, like, I think that was... Uh, we were talking about it a little bit earlier. Like, the exciting part, I think, for you and I, when we got Helldivers 2, was that, like... Um, at least for me, the exciting part was seeing, like... The, like, people go nuts for the game. And, like, meanwhile, you and I are both like, Oh, yeah, that game is great. I'm, yeah. I'm excited to look... I'm looking forward to this game that I'm, like, kind of have an idea of what it is. Yeah, like, it didn't... It wasn't popular the first week. No, it wasn't. We, we played it immediately. You yeah. Know, it came out... Basically, the next day we were there. Yep. <clears throat> and we knew it was going to be good. I mean, I, I said, I'm like, I hope this game is good. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah, I just the, hope uh, that there's nothing hidden in there. The the thing the thing of it was for me, too, that I was kind of like a little nervous about was like when we saw some of that, like the early trailers, I'm like, I knew in the back of my head. Arrowhead is a small studio, so for them to make a game that looks like that, I don't know how well that's going to turn out. Yeah, I was a little, like, worried that they were yeah. biting off a little more than they could chew. That's kind of what I thought, too, for a minute. But, like, no, man, they pulled it out. They did a great fucking job. Yeah, they did really phenomenal work. Because I remember us always playing this and being like, man, it would be so cool if it was... If it was, like, behind... Yeah, you were actually these dudes. Yeah, yeah, you were down on the ground, really in there. Yeah. And now we got it, and, I mean, we were 100% right. It's like... Yeah, and, like, they did such a good <coughs> job of capturing, like, this type of stuff in, like, the context of, like, the actual game. Because I like that they kind of made it more open world, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Um, like, where you can actually see across the planet and, like, see different, like, things and whatever. Um... In this game, it's a lot more linear with all these planets and stuff. Yeah, it's way than, simpler than in uh, two, which I like in two because uh, it makes it feel more like an actual war. Right. I like the, what they've been doing with it too. Yeah. Where mm -hmm. you know they're kind of evolving the war as it goes. Yeah.
Thank you.